This is Making Moves. And we have 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. So what's the plan? Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank series. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office, no money, from a bicycle. Oksala, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One. Zanzi for sure. You're telling me that your average is between 800 and 1,200, but your cheapest treatment is 60 bucks and your most expensive is 400, 450. How is that possible? I mean, I don't understand the question. You think this is a joke? Can you relax? Do you have a database? Yes, I do have. Which, which, which program are you using? <laughs> we just did it manually. Do you want to make money as an entrepreneur? South Africa has the highest obesity rate in sub-Saharan Africa, with one in three people being classified as being obese. Uso ma business ge na ge o seven zelema pantin. Ufunak fundi sa umpaga tuwa gubu gubu ngoziga. Omga chabu talek umanga bunga zina ge gel. Lento azi le na ge na ge epuma la paya na ge kabu tsilo wellness and fitness center. Kula poko na ge si trite uso gunab si funa gwa ziga banzugu tige bona la pagle anda yab benza ma piga ma services. I am Dumela Ratchabe Polani, a founder of Botello Wellness and Fitness Club. It is a health and wellness center offering various services on beauty, your day spa, nail bar, as well as the gymnasium. The uniqueness of our services and products is the fact that we use organic products mainly for dark skinned people. Mm -hmm. So, what is the So, normally, the 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 so far about 15 members. Yeah. Jimmy Nyakamona. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
how much is it for a membership? Yeah, a monthly membership. Mm -hmm. The reason I am a member is because around here, the gym and all that. So, I yeah, that's why I get really enjoying them. Um, ever since I joined me, I'm fit, I'm beautiful. So yeah, that's the benefit. Welcome to our day span at this year. Yeah. Uh, She's our massage therapist, and that is our client as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, Susan, I to the I ended. Spaces you said were limited, but you try and make use of what you have. Good night. Let me and the employees are how the guy has it Okay. Can I look at the employees' bill? Can I employees' the bill? The permanent, and then I have two but part time. Right. One was also an intern, Mona, from okay. the local college. Okay. The client is like the bonang per day in our spa. They can be about eight. Eight. So far, max mamiri kiling kabalo yana the client daily. It's up to eight. Okay. Civilian hotel wellness. Every two weeks for this facial, which hydrates my face and keeps my skin smooth. Uh, Ola o thusa hore o start a business here. So chelete o la isebedisa for a. Chelete eno ke rekile tsona di massage bed sena ke ona elang thusa ho qala day spa ya ka ya ba ya nthusa lo qala nail bar. Okay. And then me chini le ditsipi tla ye guy. Me chini le ditsipi tsana was also funded. Okay. Uh, but with the funding I had to pay 30% yeah of the money the total amount of the machines. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our nail bar. This is our nail technician, Gay Aus Fifi, and that is my lovely client, Mechaban. This is how we located at one of the biggest uh, hotel casino, Honamo Kotabanchu. So, now, how, what kind of uh, outcome is there in your business, especially more eating located thing? It's still okay, more eating thing. But Go this way. Thank you, Ne. Is your experience saying that there's a market for a gym? But honestly, it's not. Okay. Okay. Kona kwa tala ugutike le ntoka zile nagi, ifunde uguzi mele, futike, ya kutula ngempilo yake, uguzabe ilo munda uyena na mtanji. 
Umdeni, nabanga nbaki. Bato kusana natu, ustaza la kabanzi kuti lento gazlenu. Ngu mundo njani. Futo na ustia ila kutige, ukozi, lola na logenu. Ultata upi. I just wanna feel good every day. I wanna wear a smile upon my face. I wanna feel the joy of the day. I wanna hear I love you every now and then. I loved talking too much. No, Milian, I didn't tell about what's going on. Can you not let me have a word? I can't call it competitive. Like I said, I'm not going to be in the classic. If you're telling me I'm going to win, I'm going to win. 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 Kita hebat mana tahu macam orang ke hospital, kahulah la mana di luar mana tu ni ane, and kami kereta milo kereta mai mana, batu adi baka ini le mahu boleh kahwe, bayi bapu mana kahwe bo, huye tak kahwe bo in Lady Brand in Clockland, as well as Lesotho. I did my primary there. Until my parents got deceased, kamu kau kau bawa sokak hale, and then kau nak habu pelu boleh bawa kala, kau kau kala hutu dia bawa pelu kat selai yang mui. Kena cung hape, elang ya bayi driving force kau ah, batu la hufusela. Ma batang wipuan alit eh ibu pelu. Jumi ulah kami ahok ahok lekat pelu kufitan aku ya hai kau fela hagon fela jele ya na entri la mutu sakuban kau mutu a korek kita kau mutu a a strong for lack of a better word kau mutu a a batang wiket itu adun to kau buaya na. I had to I had to compromise a lot and sacrifice a lot for my brother and for my little sister. Abutu was the first person who I I university. I had a job by then. Hanging and I was a radio presenter. I was a radio presenter. I used to go to Lesotho on weekends. There was a local radio station. So I would get um I, I would get some money. Ne? And then I used to use that money and help my granny give my brother higher varsity. You understand? That teamwork. I know if my brother makes it, he'll also help me reach a certain stage. I matured. When I started university, Blomfantin, oh, one of the promotions. <laughs> Body promotions and then high bond and traffic short and cuts on a school. When I tell you about native Bauri, um, fatality, I am saying who recreated in Tata school. So, you know, she's really helped me a lot. And that drive that she has, you know, is on Rick. I mean, like, who can get that or see it like a tata or a little like it or like a corner like a mutus.
the age when many young people are still experimenting and discovering their interests, Dumelo's entrepreneurial journey was in full swing. Yena ke wangenela umkhudelwano waphinde futhi ke waphumelela nomkhudelwano lo owakwazi ukuthi umnikeze imali yokuthi asungulele le business lakhe ebekade kuyisifiso sakhe sokuthi abe ne gym yakhe namhlanje le gym ikhona kodwa ke nama challenges nawo ke futhi akhona iwona ke lawo challenges lawo ke ayivimba le ntokazi ukuthi business lakhe lingakhuli I just arrived in Johannesburg now kuhana ke tihlang the students are making moves I am excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. Just come with me. I'm looking forward to this day. 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 Come with me. At the tender age of 18, Dumela had an idea of starting a fitness club in her rural town of Tabanchu. Two years later, she's brought the idea to fruition. However, Changing the mindset of her community to embrace her fitness and wellness center is proving to be a real challenge. Aussi, welcome to Making Moves. Thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. Who's wrong? No, Kimunati, Kimunati. Okay, so so tell me a little bit about how it's gone in the last two years. Utadile uh, guy and the progress of the business. Are you happy with where you are? Um, as like you said, I got a business here in 2014. I got a a day spa, in a nail bar, and a nutrition corner. And then we decided to expand it a bit. I got a gymnasium. Um, the growth is there, but it's it's not satisfying. I got a lot of so we have tried and put certain strategies in place so we can be able to educate our community about fitness, promoting a healthy lifestyle. expand to the smaller towns and to the nearby cities as well. Okay, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit okay. and I'll tell you why. Well, it's a market research below color business. Yes, I did. So, Maraka Ute. Maraka Ute. Why are they not using the service? They are using the service. I think about 20%. Of the population at Habanchu is using my services, but it's not enough because population at Habanchu is about 70,000 people. So I need to go there. There is market, but they need to they need to be educated about is, the is it is it a case of education or is it a case of affordability? Can people afford to use the service? Like I'm saying. They only need to be educated. According to my market's research, my prices did last a whole whole compared to my competitors. Dienzo would be affordable. Kishebile Tabayal Hornat Havanchu is based in Kuili, a rural area. Joel, it's already priced, already affordable. The only thing is they need to be educated about health in general. Hubunsa, the health services, they are needed in an everyday life. So, Bonavan Zabanka is a luxury service. Now, if I was in your shoes, hmm. I would sell all that gym equipment, get some money back in, clear the room, okay. and use that to add hair and other such things so that I'm providing a full-scale beauty solution and the health part of it would just be the nutrition corner and the spa. I wouldn't disagree with you on that one. No, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't disagree with you on that one. In fact, it gives me it, it gives me light. As part of my business plan, that was what I wanted to do because we also have an in a physiotherapist as well. So like you're saying, I need to work on something that can be able to grow my business and expand. Considering that I wanted initially, I wanted to be a one-stop station with the salon, with the spa, with the nail bar, with the gym as well. But if it doesn't work, I I think I would switch from a gymnasium probably to a Pilates studio where you have aerobics and things like that. Yeah, you're going back to that thing again <laughs> where I'm saying to you, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't think, and, and maybe I'm being presumptuous. Okay. Um, oh. I, 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 I get to be market wahao. And you are insisting, mm. Hori, there is a market for the gym there. 
and I'm saying, but let's look at your experience. Mm. Is it, is your experience saying that there's a market for a gym? But honestly, it's not. Okay. I don't have much market. You know, you had the bravery to do that. You won a competition, yeah. um, which means that people saw something in you. And I truly believe you'll make the right decisions. And if we speak again in 12 months, I think your business is going to be at a very different place. Definitely. Okay. I'll have to go there. restructure everything and try and make the right decisions that can grow my business for the better. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Dumela is offering much needed services in Tabanchu. However, she's faced with the mammoth task of changing the mindset of her community about the benefits of paying for a fitness and wellness center. Is she on the right track? I don't know. I'm sending her to a coaching session to get advice on how to creatively market her offering to the community of Tabanchu. Interview Ekinekinale on Ali Pepsi. About the different strategies I can use for my business. Okay. When I get this 50,000, it's a top notch okay. talent. What do you want to do with the business? What do you want to do with Jenga manje gele nto gazi lena futi ika mge nge zinteleza shuwa shugeni ezo msiza ugutiena almagete lili biznis. Hinga kwa wesi mshanga nise ni mkipkishi. Umuntu ke pela gelo nage ozo msiza uguzamu nye zezi ngebisu nezi nto ga anga zisebenzis. Ekuze ngutiena aguwa zgut lili biznis lake anga almageta ganjani. Tell me about uh, how many clients are you getting per month and in which areas and which mm. in which products? I think per month I can get about it depends on, on the business, but probably up to 40, 50, you understand? Okay. Between 40 and 50 per month. Alright. And And then are they consistent? Is it is it people? Yeah, I mean if you're saying forty to fifty, is it every month? We can say so, but okay. you know, at times business cannot be the same. Absolutely. Sometimes 30. It only depends on the season as well and as the, with the month. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm. So with the gym, obviously, they'll be consistent because they have to subscribe every month. Okay. And you get with the nails as well. Yeah. Everyone wants to look good with the nails fresh okay. every month. And how, and how much how, how much? Uh, the prices are so reasonable because with the with the gym, it's only 200 bucks. With the, uh, with the spa side, my prices range from 180 okay. Okay. to 390 at right. most, do you understand? Right. Okay. As well as the nails, they range from 120 to 180. Wow. So my prices are really reasonable. All right. I believe Dumelo, um, looking at her numbers, she was able to review them and she was able to say, look, I think I've been using a lot of my profits into other businesses, funding other businesses. So the 50,000 Rand, where is it mm. going into specifically? Yeah. After the conversation I had with Pepsi, yeah. I'm definitely going to open a well-furnished, classy, or high-class salon. That okay. is what I'm going to do okay. now. I was thinking of a steam room, but with with what I've just had mm. and going back to my business, Kidula Fats is like a share of hands over him. It's like a teletake and a hookai, a hulu hulu, again, and the beauty side of things. Okay. So, definitely, Ding, when I get this 50,000, Gilo is a salunia top notch. Hi, Kipita. Go on to the little place, a whole whole hike, Peter, the green delivery for Gahon. Get away who expand. I another salon or when I get away a marketing strategy. I think an awakening took place. I think uh, looking at her numbers and seeing how much of her profits have gone into funding other businesses that she would like to get into, I think um, there's nothing wrong with what she's put on the table that she would like to open up other spas, etc. And I think that that will be a plan for the next five to 10 years. She, she can look into that. I, I, I hear you saying you're going to, to that kind of market. Mm. But we must always remember that's publicity, which we need to calculate 
mm. what is it going to bring in terms of revenue mm -hmm. on the other hand you already have establishments mm. with the hospitals yeah. with the schools and the community mm. or or teacher mm. in those communities mm. study them mm. study their behavior mm. study why should they come to you mm. you spoke about winter mm. that not a lot of people come to winter mm. and therefore you wanted to have the steam room mm. uh, the steam room is not because pe people will come to 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 your to your mm. bar because it's winter and there's a steam room mm. people come there for something else mm -hmm. so figure out why they come to you and rather add on packages that will bring them to you during the dry seasons yeah. and perhaps in those dry seasons you can go to school schools uh, the hospitals yeah. and take your business and and create a mobile bar around it mobile bar so especially for the matriculant students because we've been doing the makeups and the nails okay so if probably we have some hair incorporated in that yeah. it will be a full package yeah. um, i think there is an element of tourism in bloemfontein and in tabantry and perhaps her tapping into different markets and accessing those would allow her to bring in clients coach and such naka the coach the coach lagat it went well because it's a whole you things with a different perspective. Do you have a database? Yes, I do have. Which 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 program are you using? We're still testing this Sage um, program. Okay. Before kere o prepare le ngor eng, mawa no wile le pepsi. And then ho bua le coach ya hao. Nete. At some point be ngati ku no akat ya ku no confusion from muti i business la ku mo pitch aso kuru mangani eh uzo focus a gupi. Do you have that one point or something that you know what manje umu zo pitch a uzo kuru mangalend? Eh after what I had. Obviously, she like a lot of people who are looking for work. So I can So I found that one specific thing that can help my business to go. I learned that I could look picture kind of like that. I'm not sure. 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 Good afternoon, how are you? I'm good, thank you, and how are you? Fantastic, you're all smiles, you think this is a joke? No. You've come here to have fun and smile with the judges. Not at all, I'm, I'm just kidding. trying to keep myself feeling? calm. Yeah, I yes. hope you're calm, I'm looking forward to a really good presentation. You've got four minutes to pitch your business to the judges. You met your coach, spent time with him yesterday. Martine is the lady on my left, she is a co-judge and is one of the people that will be determining your fate. We give you four minutes to pitch your business. After that, we deliberate, or we ask you questions rather, and then we deliberate and tell you what your fate is and whether you're gonna stay for the next round of the competition or we send you back home to Tabanchu. Okay. okay, your four minutes starts now. My name is Tumelo Ratobei Polwane. I am a founder of Butzela Wellness and Fitness Club. It is a professionally well vest. Butzela caters for executives, for professionals, for co corporate people like you, helping them to maintain a healthy lifestyle. We are competent in providing reliable services from wellness to beauty to fitness to your nutritional corner, just to mention a few. We offer our services in a cozy, in a relaxing, in a tranquil and place, in a, in a soothing and calming environment. Now, why are we here? Butilo's business plan has been made up of a, um, of a day spa, of a nail bar, a nutritional corner, and a gym, the, uh, and a physiotherapy wing as well. But there is one thing that was lacking. That is a hair salon. That is why we are here. What are we going to do with the 50,000 rands that we are requesting from Making Moves? With the 50,000 rand, we're going to start up and open a world, a world classy, a professional 
hair salon that will specialize in all a dark or African hair with the unique proposition of us using the organic products specific, specifically for our natural hairs because we can see that hair is trending, beauty is trending, the beauty industry is growing rapidly. Now, with the 50,000 rand, as we have been, we'll be starting up that salon, which can cost about 30,000, and the 20,000 of the money will be taken to marketing. How are we gonna market this hair salon to be able to be incorporated with what we have, which is the day spa, as well as the nail bar and the other things that we have. We're going to road shows, wellness, wellness programs. We'll be going to your schools, with you, to your hospitals, to your teachers, to your corporate people, informing them about all these wonderful services we have under one roof, specifically on beauty. Because whether we like it or not, the beauty industry is growing. And you know it for sure that no one doesn't mind to pay a certain amount of money to look pretty, to look beautiful, yet done by professionals as well. Now, going forward, what are we also going to do with the 20,000 rand that I said it will be for marketing? After setting up that high standard hair salon, which will cost 30,000 rand, including all the products as well. We're going also to mass media, marketing, how we get into the small towns, how do we get people to know about us even more. Mass media will be using our local radio stations, which we've started using. We have the interviews in the radio stations, we have adverts running and rolling, as well as live interviews, competitions that we run and give out packages as well. These packages, we we actually service individual clients or a group of people, your families, we give them packages as well. Continuing with the mass media, we go onto your newspaper, newspaper adverts, where people can go, especially free newspaper um, Make, uh, what do you call this? Free newspaper, newspapers in Tabanchu, in the free state. You go also to your local magazines that people read often to get a page and market your business there. And also billboards. We have so many billboards. People are going from the N8 up and down to Bloemfontein to work. They can also see all the special services we have under one roof, which is quite convenient for people. And now, lastly, we will be doing roaches, like I told you, personal marketing as well where we'll be using promoters and direct marketing with the with direct marketing this is where i already have All a right, database uh, your time's up oh my god okay it's okay we're gonna ask you some questions no problem um i'm not sure that your insistence in terms of saying yeah whatever it takes i'm going to get people's health right I want to educate them about their health. I want them to exercise. I want them to eat right. It's very noble, but I'm not sure that you have a big enough market um, to be able to sustain that. And that's why my advice was, why don't we look at the beauty industry more so than anything else? Now, you're saying it, but I'm reading your presentation, mm -hmm. and really, it is still about health and wellness, which is where your passion lies. And I think that the market lies in nails, skin, hair, True. and maybe massages and relaxation. But, you know, uh, what do I know? Okay, Martin? Yeah. Um, okay, Tumelo, firstly, how many clients do you currently have on your database? I think you know, I can have about 50 clients on my database. Those I know, these are my regular clients who come to me each and every month for either nails okay, or massages. Okay, do you have a database? Yes, I do have. Which, which, which program are you using? We just did it manually because there's this other thing. We're still testing this Sage um, program. There was that little thing that they give us, they, that it calculates the monthly people that come. And so the names of So you those don't have people, a CRM system? No, I don't moment. have it yet. Okay. No, but she's okay. That's fine. Why does she need a CRM system? You know, because system? I'll tell you why she needs it. Can you relax? Can I please ask, on yes. your 50 clients, mm -hmm. what is your average spend? My average spend is not much. I could, I think I spend about 40% of what I make from the 50, from no, the 50 how clients. Much do they 50 spend? clients. How much do they spend? What, what is each client spend oh, on average with you? They can spend up to a thousand two if they do. Have with, you done the study? Yes, I have done the study. So what is the average spend? The average spend is between 900 and 1,200. So if I walk into your um, day spa. Yes. What what would I typically do? 
What, what's, what's the process? Explain the process. Okay. So well, I'm a client, I walk in, what happens? You're a first time client, you enter in, the comp in our complex, mm -hmm. we greet you, we give you all the services that we have, we explain them to you thoroughly. Mm -hmm. You'll first meet the nail bar, okay. you'll first see the gym, yeah, and okay. then you go to the, to the nail bar, the nutritional mm -hmm. corner, and you also see the massage door. So we take you through, make you, uh, ex we, under we make you understand the services we provide, and then you choose. So you find uh, eventually, if I came for a massage, secretary, facial, after yes. a facial, you even go to the to the okay. nail bar corner. So you find it horrible. when one comes just for one treatment, they end up leaving the the whole room with everything or half of the services that we offer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're going to deliberate and then call you back. No problem. Okay. Thank you. How I thought about my pitch is I get to be a I guess can you get to hila and I'm not even sure na but other than that uh, it went well and she's making it. i mean she's turning over 155 her margins are about 94 percent yes. so i question why 50,000 rand because she's making the money all right so uh dumelo's business and she had a bit of a tough pitch but let's talk about it. Martine, you've got experience in this industry. And I'm not being patriarchal. It's not no. like just because you're a woman. Sure. <laughs> Maybe it is. But, you know. No, I'm kidding. So what's, what's, what, what are your thoughts? The numbers are not wrong in terms of her setup costs mm. and stuff. Um, I do like the fact that she's going into hair because there is the, the, the two areas in the beauty industry that gives you the biggest return mm. is nails. And, uh, and she said that herself, so at least she, she, she understands that. And, and he. Sure. Um, and then beauty, yes, but it, it has to be the quick beauty. What's, what, so what, having, what would you define as beauty? I would say threading is a huge, huge turnaround at the moment. I mean, you see people sitting in chairs in malls having threading done mm. um, all the time. And then um, aesthetics. So aesthetics meaning... Uh, individual lash extensions all of those and there's really good margins on those products so from the wellness perspective I liked what you said Pepsi is that you know what focus on it you're, you're a business um, yes you can offer the wellness as as a smaller part of the on. business but yeah. don't make that the predominant part sure. of it because it's not going to bring the money through the door I can tell you that I have are you impressed with the way you pitched I'm not happy. I don't want to lie. I'm not happy. Now, if if I did like this, I got to pitch her. I didn't change my slides. I'm going to talk about what we can change like a day. Because after the coaching session, after the conversation we had with Pepsi, I told him we can change the whole into the beauty side of things. But he was like, I'm disappointed. And so we lose on that fitness. But I guess it also comes with what you like. If you love and how much work I like out for that thing, you still wanted to be seen somewhere there. So yeah. What about a barber for dudes? Oh, big thing at the moment. Massive. Metrosexuals. Massive at the moment. Well, everybody cuts their hair. Yes. And, no, what I'm saying, and there's a market for that. Absolutely, yeah. it's yeah. massive. I mean, it's I huge. shape my joints. I know. <laughs> Definitely, yes, Pepsi. And again, it is a quick turnaround. So it's quick money spinner, mm. right? It doesn't take an hour to two hours to cut one guy's hair. Sure. So that is another area that she needs to look at, offering that. Brilliant. Just to just to add on to what you're saying, I I had to spend some time looking at her numbers, and she's making money. I mean, she's turning off to five, and her cost of sales are low. It's like seven thousand, a couple of rands. Now that tells me that she has a markup. She her margins are about ninety four percent. No, but listen, that's, proper the, margins. But that's yeah. the beauty industry, guys. That's very low. Yeah. Because the, the, the average beauty industry margins are 150% plus. She's, oh. So she's making quite a bit. Wh now, where does the bulk of her money come from? Expense. Um, uh, nails. Thank nails. you. Yeah. I told you. Nails. Before Ken, uh, you spoke about your pitch will focus mm. going to the beauty level salon. Ah, I was focusing then. It's like work a salon. But so are we blaming so, the slides or are we blaming you? I can say I'm blaming myself, okay. 
So you, uh, you, almost, you, you almost contradicted yourself, Kopi Ching. And so I can guarantee you she's not able to keep up with the people, the appointments. I can no. guarantee you that. No. And a CRM system would be able to have shown her that. I can guarantee you more people do nails than any other treatment yeah. Yeah. around. Because remember, nails is not something you can do on your own at home. Sure. You can pluck your own eyebrows. Sure. You can do your own waxing. You can do... But to do... To have beautiful nails is yeah. not something that you can just sit at home and do it. Yeah. And most women spend money on nails. So I question why 50,000 rand? Because she's making the money. She should be able to reinvest in her business and buy more mm. uh, nail, nail bars mm. and mobile bars, as you yes. just put across. Um, cool. Cool. Right, let's call her back in. All the best, ne? Thank you. Shona sure, Welcome back. Thank you. How do you think you did? <sighs> Honestly. Scale of one to ten, give me a number. I think a five. That well. Or a six. That well. Mm. Five, six. Mm. Really? Okay, let's make it a five. I'm kidding, you didn't do that badly. I think a five is a fair, <laughs> is a fair number. All right, so we, we looked and, and discussed at length about your business. And there's a general excitement about the potential that it has. But I think we all agree that you're pulling in the wrong direction. And if you don't start listening, you're going to get hurt. Right? I agree. Um, and if you don't start doing the things that are a bit uncomfortable, you're going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Right? There's a laziness that you've got going on. And it's not a laziness that is that you don't want to work hard. Mm. I'm sure you put in the hours. Mm. But there's a certain type of laziness that comes with, it's almost like an inertia where you don't want to change. Oh, mm -hmm. And you don't want to have the difficult conversations with yourself. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to make the difficult decisions. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. So it's you. not a laziness in the sense that you don't, you, you don't want to work. You're working mm. hard. You look like a hard worker. Mm. You know, you don't run a business that does the kinds of numbers that yours does without working hard. Do you want to make money as an entrepreneur? Or do you want to have something that's standing there not making money? I want to make money, right. definitely. So, so, so that's the thought process that needs to go into it. Okay. Now, if you have that thought process, then you need to start dissecting. Mm -hmm. So you need to start segmenting. Mm. Where do I make the most money? Which segment of it? If I do a little bit more of this, that, the, that I'm making the most revenue at, or my biggest markup at, how, how does that affect? If I put in another nail bar, or if I mm. do another, I don't mm. think that exercise has happened. Mm -hmm. Not I don't think, I, I know that that exercise has yeah, not happened. You're right. And I can tell you, it is critical in your industry to, to take that step. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I think don't, uh, don't break a working model. Mm. Right now you have a nail bar that's making money mm. and, and it's, it's factual. We can see it from the numbers. Mm. Um, I think take Martin's uh, feedback and perhaps expand more um, on what you're doing well in. Um, I'm not saying that everything else that you've put in place is wrong. I think it's a plan that you can put forth for the next three years, mm. next four years, as you make money from your nail bar. Okay. And as well, understanding the economy that you're in as well. Mm. I think it will boom in the next couple of years. Uh, people will be able to mm. afford the kind of vision that you are putting forth. We've got some suggestions. Okay. Firstly, I think that you need to focus on the beauty space. Mm. We all agree. Mm -hmm. Excellence. If you could develop something that is better than anything that your clients can find in Bloemfontein, mm. where they wouldn't have to drive uh, to Bloem for, for, mm. for, for beauty treatments or whatever, they could do it right there. Mm. Our estimation is that you've got at least 1,500 people 
in Tabancho that can afford to use your service and use it regularly. Mm. And if you can just get 150, 200, 300 people through the door mm. every single month, you'll make a lot of money, right? Okay. But you've got to offer them the right stuff. Mm. So here are three suggestions. One, go buy a CRM system okay. tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Put it in. I know that I was a buffoon earlier and I said no and I was arguing with Martine, I take it back, go buy a CRM system, okay. right? And start using it. Mm. The second thing, go and find out from the competition that you won, go make your case, mm. put a proposal together, mm. write a proposal to them, put in pictures, give them a business plan that's updated and say, these are the results of what I tried to do Mm. This is what that gym equipment that you gave me money to, mm. to buy is producing. True. This is what the nail bar is producing. This is the direction that I want to go in. Please allow me to mm. sell that stuff so I can reinvest in the business. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because you're not you. asking for something unreasonable. Mm. Right. Mm. And then the third thing is research. Mm -hmm. Go and talk to... 50 women okay. 50. in the Tabanchu area, mm -hmm. yes, 50, Okay. chat to them about what they want. Mm -hmm. Where are they currently going to do their hair? Where mm -hmm. are they currently doing their beauty? What mm -hmm. kind of beauty treatments um, do they want? Mm -hmm. Secondly, come to Johannesburg where the industry is quite developed and spend time in five beauty salons and go and see what the best in the industry are doing. Go and watch and be surrounded by excellence mm. so that you can take that back mm. to your operation. Create the kind of operation that can sit in Santin yes. and compete with the entities that are there. Do that where you are and you'll be wildly successful. Yeah. Right, and then the third part of your research mm -hmm. is to go look in Bloemfontein mm. where your market is currently going for treatments and go and look at what you're competing against right then you put that all together into a presentation your sister studying and honors and marketing get her to help you so you can brush up on that thing that you showed us um, that i wasn't impressed with but in fact none of us were impressed with um, you're going to be coming back here in a few weeks for the next round of the competition and you must have completed all your tasks. Thank you very much. Well done. Bye. My overall experience with making moves was awesome. It was really wonderful. From the coaching, from the advice we received, as well as networking with other entrepreneurs. So it was really awesome.